Delta for us is a community. It's culture, gastronomy, and sustainability. We're collaborating with a very big amount of small farms all around Greece. We are catching up on being sustainable also for the generations before. And for us, that is a success. We want some wild stuff. Yeah, fennel for sure, some salads. The goal was to always have a, a farm around. It makes it more comfortable for us to lean and have some help from the gardeners so they guide us. So we gather that uh, knowledge they have, that we don't have. And as Thanos said, we don't have only this farm. For example, we collaborate with uh, one farm that is growing uh, in the high altitudes of the Mount of uh, Olympus. Uh, it's a farm of roses. They grow roses only for us. We take the whole corp and then we preserve. Uh, we do aromatic oils, we do pickling, we do our wines, we do juice pairings, juice pairing. And this is the organic spirit that we want to bring as well, because everything over here is bi almost biodynamic. The green star for us means a lot. I mean, it, uh, it's a reward for basically our way of thinking, our way of living, that is transformed into a gastronomic world. It's like whatever you put on a plate, you take it from the nature. So you need to get something back to the nature, respect the nature. When you have a hole on a capus in leaf, uh, what that indicates uh, straight away, that uh, the farm is not using pesticides. That's where you can understand a good quality product. You just tried before one leaf and you just said, oh, it's super spicy. It had a hole on it. <laughs> Apart from the, all the farms that we work together, we have our own person uh, that he's diving every single day and hand-picking every cell that we have on the menu right now. His name is Stelios. He has a specific way that he's uh, diving and he's fishing out all his cells. He would never overfish. Uh, every week we see that he's changing spots, he's diving in different locations, letting uh, uh, nature do her uh, job. We've been working so many years for so many hours. We've been having so much uh, like uh, high levels of stress. When you're reaching the towards to the end of the week or the last services or so much pressure behind of you, like uh, your energy is completely spended away. Working in a happy environment, we're avoiding nerves, we're avoiding like uh, fights, we're avoiding a lot of things that kitchens are known for. Most likely you will see in many restaurants there is uh, one chef and everybody needs to embrace that one chef. But here uh, in front of you you have two chefs. We took that decision from before we opened it. We said, okay, what are we gonna do is something very difficult. So we try to break it down everything in between two. So everybody lifts a little bit of the heavy load of the other. Because we've been grown up as chefs by following the completely opposite. So we said, okay, enough is enough. We need to do something for us yeah. and for the rest. And if we can share it with the world, then it's gonna be amazing. 